In today's video, we're comparing the Godox AD600 to the Flashpoint Explorer 600 in order to determine which one's better. <music> What's going on, you guys? It's Daniel with the SmashCake.com, your online resource for all things SmashCake. Whether you're looking for photography tutorials or even like today's video, advice on camera gear and, well, which one you should buy, well, you can find all of that over on the SmashCake.com. Now, today we're going to go ahead and do a versus video between the Godox AD600 and the Flashpoint Explorer 600. And we're going to go ahead and compare these two industry standard lights to each other and ultimately to find out which light is better. All right, well, before we get started, I do have to fess up to something. I'm going to tell you right here, right now, that the Godox AD600 and the Flashpoint Explorer 600 are the exact same light. There's no difference, okay? Godox makes the Flashpoint Explorer light for Adorama, and Adorama just simply sells it under a different name. It is essentially the exact same light. So whether you buy the Godox AD600 or the Flashpoint Explorer 600, you are buying the exact same light. Now the question remains, what in the heck are we gonna do if we're doing a versus video on the exact same light? If we are comparing an apple to an apple, then how could we possibly have a versus video? And I'm telling you right here, right now, the difference is not in the equipment, but in the farmers, if we're still using the apple analogy. The difference is the company that sells the light. Now, when it comes to judging these companies, you're really looking at a couple of things because the lights are equal. So really what we're looking at is quality assurance and customer service. Now the customer service side of things, that's where it gets a little tricky because I can tell you all day long that Adorama is the much better company to work with, but that's anecdotal and I have no evidence to support that. Now on the quality assurance or the quality control side of things, that's where I can give you guys some really hard concrete evidence because I've been using both light brands for many years and over those years, Adorama has never shipped me a light with a defect and I've never had a problem with one of their lights. Now, can I say the same thing for Godox? Not so much. Now, to prove my point about the quality control issue, I went ahead and I bought a Godox uh, AD600 directly from Godox, and uh, lo and behold, I had a quality control issue. I'm gonna slap this battery right on the back of this light, and you're gonna see that, I don't know if you can see that, but it's not, it's not gone on. I'm going to just break crap, but check this out. This light, I can't get it on with one hand. You can see that it's not seated correctly and I'm pushing. I mean, I'm, I'm a big dude. I'm pushing. I cannot get, uh, there we go. I can't get the, I can't get the battery on without a, exerting a fair amount of pressure on this thing. Now, the reason, uh, the way that I found out that this was an issue was that I, you know, had an assistant go to take the battery off while it was up on a light stand, six feet off the ground, and uh, this battery shot off the unit, landed on the floor, bounced three times, and you could see that that would potentially compromise the battery itself and either, uh, you know, crack it open and let it leak all over the floor or possibly uh, damage it internally so that it catches fire while I'm recharging it. So either way, there was a quality assurance issue when I bought directly from Godox. Now, customer service and quality assurance, those categories were won hands down, in my mind at least, by Adorama. But there is one more wild card that I want you to consider, and that is when you buy a Godox light on Amazon.com, a lot of the sellers there are bundling it with free stuff. And that might be enough to make you decide to go one way versus the other. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the free stuff I got when I ordered my Godox on Amazon.com this wonderful handy dandy can you see that usb drive and a it's like a softbox attachment for your speed light a gel holder for a speed light and some gels for that speed light and the thing is is i didn't buy a speed light i bought a mono light so all of those extras with the exception of this little guy right here are completely and utterly worthless okay and if you go looking on um Amazon.com at all the different packages, they all have roughly, the, you know, they all include this garbage that is completely and totally useless to me. And 
Not only is the extras that they offer garbage, but there is something missing in the box. You'll notice that printed on this box, nowhere on the box is there a reflector dish that comes standard with every mono light on the planet. Whether it's an Ellen Chrome, whether it's a Pro Photo, and even an Alien B from back in the day, if you order a mono light, it comes with like a six or an eight inch reflector dish. Frickin' standard, okay? Godox decided not so much. Godox decided that they're gonna go ahead and make you pay extra for that. Now, if you order the exact same light and it's the Adorama version, which again is the exact same light, Adorama doesn't make you pay extra for a reflector dish. And in this particular case, they didn't include a bunch of worthless speed light junk for a light that can't use it, right? What they did instead was they included that reflector dish and they included a handy dandy travel case for your light. It is a case to help you keep your lights organized and safe while traveling. And that's just another way that Adorama kind of out customer services Godox. Well, okay, everybody. Well, it is absolutely safe to say that there is a clear winner in today's matchup of the Godox 8600 versus the Flashpoint Explorer 600. Adorama clearly outperforms in the customer service and quality assurance arena. And if you are in the market to spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, you're going to want to do it with the company that treats you best if all things are created equal. And that's exactly what happened today. Today's lights are created equal and simply Adorama is the company that treats you better. So why not spend the money with them? Vote with your dollars. That's what my studio will be doing. Now here on YouTube, we vote with our watch time. And if you want to vote for all of the cool things we're doing here at the smashcake.com, all you need to do is spend a little watch time checking out more smash cake videos like the ones over there. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I'm Daniel Troutman with the smashcake.com and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.